So let's say that I need to procedurally model this leaf right here. And not only do I need to procedurally model this, but it needs to perfectly fit the shape that I have in our texture map. Well, inside of Houdini, we have a node called the trace node. And as you can see, what we can do with this is create geometry based off of the silhouette. So what I've done is I've added a texture map here. It is simply a mask of whatever it is I'm trying to create. So a black and white image. And it's going to take a look at these edge areas and based off of those areas of high contrast, create a piece of geometry that I can then use to model this out. So once we have this, let's go ahead and first of all, take a look at our edges. You'll notice that we have a lot of points along here and we really don't need that many. So I'm going to throw down a resample node and change our length to 0 0.005. Once I do this, I can go ahead and create a remesh node. And with this remesh node, we're going to create our final topology. So in this case, I'm going to set up our target edge length, or actually turn it down, that is, and then also turn up the number of iterations so that we have a cleaner result. I'm going to go down here to about that level or so. And now that I have this, I'm going to throw down a UV project initialize this to the size of our leaf so that it fits that nicely. And then I'm also going to use a UV quick shade to add our color texture map. So let's go ahead and find our yellow five like this. And it's actually going to be in the other directory. So let's go here and say yellow five. And now as you can see, we have a leaf that is perfectly modeled in the shape of our texture, which is great. Now, after this point, you can always go and use a mountain sop to deform this. So simply throw down a mountain and control all the different noise parameters in here, as well as a normal node. And by doing this, as you could see, we now have a way of creating a leaf really quickly. As always, you can find a link to my other courses within this video's description. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.